I think it's very important that you have a phased approach to it because you need to understand what you're doing, what you're trying to achieve, and how you're trying to achieve it. So running behind all these people's ideas, and that they need a plan. They need a map of what they're doing and how they're going to get there and how they're going to achieve it. And I think Alan's point is very valid. Is dipping your toe in the water in the first place to see what digital technology can do for you is difficult. Where do you start? What do you do? And how do you go about it? So having simple devices and simple solutions that can be deployed very, very quickly is an ideal way of doing it. And it isn't cost prohibitive then. The, the problem's been a lot of people have gone for enterprise solutions and gone from the top down, got to the OT level and suddenly realized it doesn't work. So I think having this approach and trying things bit by bit is absolutely spot on. I was just going to say, uh, to add to that, one of the things that's been um, driven hard in, in our factory in Colton that Andrew Peters, the, the managing director, always explains to me is that you have to have an efficient process before you digitalize, because if, if you've got an inefficient process and you digitalize it, it'll be just a digital inefficient process. So I think you have to take a step back first to make sure the processes you're all looking at to digitalize uh, are as efficient as possible, as lean as possible first, and then apply digitalization. You, you, you gain far greater benefits in doing it in that order.